hello friends welcome back to code tonight so in today's tutorial we will see how we can send notifications to android devices using asp.net so we have this simple piece of code here and this doesn't have any third party library so we can use that uh, in asp.net core also so that will work fine so currently we have this mvc application over here so uh, two things that we need for sending the notifications to the mobile is the device token and then the server key okay so fcm server key uh, if you don't know how to get this key then you can check our other video about how to get the fcm server key um, we will add a link in the video description so once you get that server key uh, then you will need the device token for sending the notifications okay so you have to pass that to uh, device token and then the body whatever you want to send as the notifications so we will uh, add this payload and we will pass this to the url which is for sending the notification to the fcm okay now here we will just run this and we will also provide you a link of the code uh, so don't you worry about that part also so we will just see like how it will work uh, I uh, in the meantime I can show you like how you will get the FCM server key so you have to search uh, FCM login and if you have a Firebase account there then you can click on Firebase cloud messaging so there you have to click on go to console and if you don't have any projects already then you can add a new project um, but we have the project here so we will click on that one and here in the settings icon you can click there and click on project settings so in the cloud messaging option here you will see the server key okay so this is the server key that we need for sending the notification so currently i have that uh, in the uh, web config file so i am picking that from here okay so the application is running we will see the code also okay so we are just calling this url for MC fcm and then we are passing this payload okay this is simple payload uh, you can add additional fields here as per your requirements so here we got the authorization token and now we are sending the notifications so now if you check the results you will see status code 200 so that means that notification has been sent um, so you will receive the notification on the device which will have this device token okay so that's how you can send the notifications on the android devices so um, this is there is different way to send the notifications on ios so we will see that in another video but this video is just for android notifications now guys if you require the code part then what we can do is we can go to our official website codenet.com and here you can search the fcm and here you will see the sending fcm mobile notifications in asp.net so we will provide you a direct link also so don't worry about that uh, so here you will see the same code that i just showed you in the video so this, these are the models that we need so you can get this from here and this is the same code that we just seen okay and you can also download from here and just run the code simply okay so let us know the feedback guys and let us know if this works for you so thanks for watching guys